Tip top top tip. It's worth noting when you're using a track saw or a rail saw or a pudding saw or whatever you want to call it that obviously you need to take into consideration the thickness of the blade and the actual standoff of the blade from the actual rubber or from the track where it actually lands because sometimes what can happen, this one's nice and neat there and then you get to here and this has been absolutely mirrors. Sometimes when you cut on an angle it can affect the, the, obviously the angle of the blade affects the cut so you can if, also if it jumps or anything like that on the rail you can sort of muller this strip so it can just slightly set you out wrong so it's worth just taking a little bit of extra time just to get your blade down push it down onto the line so you can see where you come in and also when you're joining two rails together get yourself a nice long we've got i've got a six foot level there get that up against the back of the rail just to make sure that it's running straight all the way through because although they're butted up next to each other it can slightly wobble and waver so you want to make sure you've got a nice straight cut that's the whole reason of using a rail saw is to get a nice perfectly straight cut also what i'm about to do is cut mdf and we all know mdf is not good and i know some people out there like to be very health and safety conscious i'm not sure if i say that shall I, shall I say that i've just said it so i also like to be health and safety conscious i do care about my health and obviously it's very important that you don't inhale this stuff because this is, it's banned in some countries I believe, MDF, because the fibres are so small and they can easily get into your lungs and cause respiratory diseases. So what I'm doing, I'm using my Makita dust extractor. This is an awesome little bit of kit. I think I'm gonna do a review on this soon because I've bought it for basically for sanding down walls for my Venetian plaster but it's suitable for, for everything else. This is a, an auto takeoff machine, so you can actually plug your tool straight into it, and then it will automatically, once you power up the tool, it will automatically kick this in, but it only works up to a 850 watt power. So it's fine for the sanders and stuff like that, but for this, it uses 1100 watt of power, so I can't plug that into that. So all it will do is just burn the motor out in here, and then that's a couple of hundred quid down the drain. So I just plug them in separately, and then I can just turn it on when I'm going to do my cut, do my cut, leave it on for a second just to clear the pipe out, and then turn it off so it's not the end of the world i can't use it on auto but i'm not that bothered about it because it keeps me safe i am outside and so the amount of dust is going to be minimal anyway that i would inhale but it's always best to err on the side of caution especially when you're cutting this stuff